Okay, you guys, so I bit the bullet and I actually got a Amazon wig. All right, so let me know down below in the comments whether you think this is synthetic or is this human. You be the judge of that. In the minute, I'll tell you which one it is. But honey, Amazon? Amazon. Amazon. Boo, Amazon. And I didn't really fully put the wig on. I just put it on with a little bit of, um, what is that? Got to be glue, free spray. Just a little bit of that so that I can show you different hairstyles that I did with the wig. I did customize it as well. So here we go. Okay, so the wig came in this nice little pink bag. It's pink and black, which is good because you can store your wig. You also have a customer support card from Helene Virgin Wigs, Lace Wigs. And oh, by the way, this is a premium blend wig. Okay, so now we have what we have here. Oh, the eyelashes that I'm not going to use, but that was a nice gesture to get you something free for spending your money. The wig does come inside of a net oh look at the inside of this wig the construction is impeccable y'all i was surprised for the price i paid for this wig i was very surprised about the construction of the wig um it does have small parting area but that's okay you can work with that there's baby hairs on the wig but the lace the lace is almost better than some real human hair wigs look at how good that lace looks and it's thin the knots are a little big but we're gonna fix that so what I did was I started to brush the wig out so that I can get rid of that shine and open up those waves a little bit so that it doesn't look so plastic and fake so after I moved on from that homegirl <laughs> looking good here though yes she is so we moved on and we turned the wig around and just brushed it out a little bit again now we're going to go ahead and cover those knots so i took a little bit of foundation mostly my summer color because as you know your scalp does not match your face it matches nothing <laughs> okay so the next thing um we're going into just rub it around here just dab it on don't brush it in too deep or you're going to get it on the hair just dab it on on the entire lace the front the middle the part the sides all of the lace down to the baby hairs so that you can get a good blend next what I did was took some got to be glued spray and I just sprayed that on so that the foundation doesn't move that helps the foundation stay on there longer I like the liquid compared to powder and next we're going to put the wig on and adjust her so that we can cut the lace off. If y'all hear any background noise, that's my neighbor dryer. I'm just adjusting the lace so that I can see where I need to cut it. Just moving along here. I like how see-through that lace is though, y'all. And now I'm going to add some free spray on it. And I'm going to pull it down just about a quarter of an inch. Not even a quarter of an inch. And we're going to tack this down. So that the um, lace can actually stay on. Now this is for a temporary hold. This is for something for like throughout the day. Not for something to wear for a week or so. And the wig, I don't believe that you'll be able to wear this for a whole entire week. I mean, you can try by using different products like mousse. And then we're going to go ahead and cut the ear tabs off. I like to do that last so I get a good fit. I'm just adjusting it right here. I'm going to go ahead and get those baby hairs ready. I'm going to trim them down just a little bit. But you guys can pretty much tell exactly what I'm doing. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube about this. But this is a quick little tip that I haven't really seen nobody talk about. How to just smooth the baby's hairs back a little bit. Lay that freeze spray on the knots and just smooth it back. Don't try to make them perfect right now because we're going to wrap up the hairline for about maybe 20-30 minutes. And then once you unwrap the hairline, 
you can actually go ahead and mold those um, baby hairs the way you want them. This way, your baby hairs won't look plastic. They won't look matted down. They will look natural and normal, as you'll see in just a moment once we finish this here. I didn't, I didn't let you guys see the wrap up because you know what to do. All right. And look at her, baby. She coming through. I know it seems a little wild right now, but I'm going to show you a different hairstyle too. Another way to wear it. There she go. Those edges look really, really good, you guys. I'm surprised. But let's go ahead and talk about what I really think. The hair does tangle. It does tangle. It really, really does. It, I mean, it doesn't tangle too, too bad. But when you run your fingers through it, it's not going to come clean through. See how I, did, how I just did that? It's not going to come clean through. Um, there is a bit of shine on the hair that is high. But what I did was I used a paddle brush and I just brushed it out to make the hair um, separate from that shiny stuff. And yes, don't come for me. I don't got no makeup on only because my face is still healing from the chemical pill. So it's still peeling currently at the moment. That's all the white stuff that you see is still currently peeling. But overall, you can see this is some pretty decent hair. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not something that you could wear for weeks at a time. But it is something that you could wear for an outfit or a hairdo or some pictures or something like that. This is a premium blend from Helene Virgin Hair Wigs on Amazon. I'll link everything down below, you guys, so you can check them out. Overall, I do like the hair. I do like it. I mean, it's not anything comparable to my Virgin Hair Wigs, but it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Also, there is um, one other thing that I noticed is that... You would have to adjust the tabs if you have a smaller head. I kind of got a big old head, you see? So you have to adjust the tabs in the back. Also use the combs. This is a glueless wig, so you don't necessarily need any glue. It does fit pretty snug. As you can see in the video, I used some free spray. But other than that, I mean, I don't have any other complaints. The quality of the synthetic hair is not like the quality of a lot of synthetic hair that's out right now, but it'll do. You could put some mousse in this baby and make her work. I mean, I might be a little biased because I'm a hairdresser and I can make anything work, but for the price, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it for the price. <laughs> I'm not joking. All right. So thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate each and every one of you. And don't forget to go subscribe to my friend from The Real Women of YouTube. She did inspire this video. So make sure you guys take a look at her videos. You'll see them pop up in just a second. And head on over to her channel and subscribe, you guys. See y'all later.